Channel 5 News. Hello and welcome to Channel 5 News. It is 6.32 p.m. November 1985. We have a riveting evening of news in store for you. We have a ravishing story on homosexuality being outlawed in Britain. My husband will be so disappointed. The notorious P. Newton has been convicted today of 249 counts of child rape. It looks like this paedophile has been... Peter jailed. The long search for May McGann has finally come to a close. There has been no images yet released of her, so we have a computer-generated image of what she is estimated to look like. That's one more thing going on my to-do list. In other news... We can get a live report in from our chief correspondent. Over to you, Chet. Thanks, Tom. I'm standing here in sunny Czechoslovakia, where in Prague, a large public demonstration has been organized in protest against the communist government called the Civic Forum. Um, a, a, a moment ago, Tom, it would appear that the communists are about ready to cave in, following absolutely no violence on their part. Uh, I'm going to see if I can pull someone from the crowd. Uh, uh, <laughs> here, you, sir. Here, come up, come here. Uh, I'm just wondering, could, could you please tell me uh, what's going on here? Hey, hey, hey! And there you have it, folks. <laughs> Thanks, Jet. You're welcome, Tom. Now we'll call for a commercial break. Stay tuned. Are you tired of having to look for a phone line just to speak to your significant other? Well, fret no more. Introducing the Motorola 80,000. It's lightweight. It's portable. And it comes in all your favorite colors. Gray. Gray. And now including gray. So buy your Motorola 8000S today, like this sensible man did. You wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't rob a house. You wouldn't steal a woman's purse. You wouldn't sniff your friend's underwear. You wouldn't use a sword as a dildo. Piracy is stealing. And welcome back. Now Tom, as I was saying before the break, it's important to remember that this recent wave of uprisings has been brewing for a long time now. Yes, that is right. As we all know, the economic state of the Soviet Union has slowly been deteriorating for years. And, as such, the ability to maintain its empire as who has all about but collapsed. Much unlike the Prague Spring of 1968, uh, yeah. where an uprising was put down by the authorities. That's not to mention the tantalizing nature of the Western Way, which has many calling for change. I've just been informed we have a call from the leader of the Civic Forum. Let's put him on the line right now. Take it away, Mr. Havel. Yes, I am Vaclav Havel, 
It is I who leads the Civic Forum, with the hope of the total overflow of the government and the release of political prisoners. I am a very influential person. And thank you, Mr. Havel. Very enlightening. Now, obviously, Deborah with the weather. Right, thanks, Chair. As we can see from this pen, it's going to be sunny across the coast of Mumbai. Great for getting some turns, eh, lads? Right, as is signified by this blue line, we can see strong winds will be blowing. Let's hope my skirt doesn't blow up, eh? Eh? Or not? Right, now then, I've been focusing a bit on the east. If we take a good look at the west over here, you can see two large circles, not too dissimilar from my breasts. <laughs> These probably mean that there's going to be an earthquake sometime soon. And that's about it. Back to you, Chet. Well, you're looking good today, though, Brian. Nice leg, you know what's going on. Uh, uh time we're live. Oh, no, what's going on here, though? Just in time to say thanks for watching and good night. Have a good one.